1400 meters they sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker this was a nice beginning this one nine tails the first to go blue winters right there then imperial seal palmart's going around them excessive grace is at the rail on the outside, Sapphire Rock. Wichita is trying to get in. Between them is Bells and Whistles as they go to the 1100-meter region. Then comes Highland Heather. Further back in the run at this stage is Joyful Winter, about eight or nine lengths off the leader with Hello High. And on the outside, Carp Macy. But there's only about eight or nine lengths top to tail. Nine tails and Imperial Seal. Palm Martyrs on the outside. Blue Winter's back forth. Sapphire Rocks in the all blue, about four lengths off the leader. Further back is Bells and Whistles, then Excess of Grace. On the outside of that one, trying to come on as Joyful Winter as they turn for home. Then Highland here, then Carps and Macy. Top of the lane, just over 400 metres to go. And that leader is Imperial Seal. And on the outside of that, Palm Art, Sapphire Rock needs some running room. Towards the outside of that one, Wichita. On the outside, running on strongly is Joyful Winter. And Joyful Winter comes strongly. Blue Winter's on the inside. But it's Joyful Winter. Bells and Whistles running on on the inside. But Joyful Winter's running strongly. And it's going to go to Joyful Winter. Second Bells and Whistles, Blue Winter. And then Wichita. Number nine, Joyful Winter, 490 and two rand is the winner. The Water Winter, Dean Canamayer and Keegan DeMello. Rewarded for consistency. Second was number five, and that is Bells and Whistles. It runs into second position. Third to number two, Blue Winter, and then Wichita. Sapphire Rock was the toad favorite and needed some running room at about the 300 meter. So as we look at this, and the winner is on the extreme right-hand side, and that is Joyful Winter coming strongly to claim the advantage. Blue Winter, Bells and Whistles, and Wichita, but it goes to Joyful Winter. As I say, number nine pays 490, toad favorite number seven, until we go racing on Saturday, this is Craig Eagle Eye Peters signing off. The last race here at Hollywood Bets, Gravel has gone the way of the Dean Canamayer trained Philly Joyful Winter. And with me in the number one box is the assistant trainer, Nicolette. Well done, congratulations. And uh, consistency rewarded. Yeah, no, she's a, she's a filly. She's been knocking on the door. Uh, she's been unlucky in some of her starts. But today she's done a little bit wide. Keegan just up to just give her a bit of a chance bring her out to the outside and you know and she always gives her best and today she actually won a nice race she actually won going away she did and uh, that's got to be encouraging for for the future because sometimes these fillies that take a, a couple of runs to crack it uh, once they do they they generally go on which is encouraging yes no it is like i say you know she's been knocking on the door she's been battling to break that maiden she's got a low merit rating and the way she won today she's definitely got another win in her in her belt the form had been franked as well with hop, skip and jump, uh, where this uh, horse ran second to hop, skip and jump. So there was uh, a couple of positive pointers and uh, it's paid off well done. Yes, no, it definitely has. I mean, like I say, that last run of hers was over a 1200, which she was just a little bit too keen over the 12. And Keegan says she's better off on the 14. She loves the poly. So well done to Dean, well done to the owners and great ride from Keegan. Not, not often the Canamea team go home without a winner. Today's no exception. Well done. Thank you very much. Here we go. That's the Nicolette Roscoe, who's uh, uh, chatted to us, and here's Keegan. Are you well? Always well. Good. Well done. And uh, this horse, as we've said to, to Nicolette, always tries, and it's just lovely to see her hit the line running today and, and winning well. Yeah, today was actually the first time she's hit the, 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 the line running. Usually she gets to a point and she um, starts going up and down. So it's nice. I think we finally found um, the solution with her, and... Uh, yeah, I'm sure she'll pick up another one in the low, low, one of those lower races. Yes, uh, because she certainly has been consistent and uh, 
yeah, uh, just uh, is she the type of fitty that's needed to get the confidence? She has, yes, and um, her work at home has improved uh, a hell of a lot from the the first time I sat on her. And uh, yeah, look, the the stable I think we've been through a little bit of a drought, and um, the horses are starting to run well again. So just full credit to obviously Mr. K Mr. Kanemaya and um, Nicolette and Julius and um, all our work riders and all the boys. Um, without them, it, it's not possible. Well done. You've covered all the bases. I'm going to end with a little bit of a personal question, and why not? Yeah. How's Junior Demela? She's doing very well, and um, yeah, it's just um, it's a blessing to have her in my life. Well done, Keegan. All the best to you. Thank you very much. Uh, first, uh, lastly, I'd like to just say thank you to Mr. Van Kroy and Mr. Morrison, and um, obviously Mr. George as well. Thank you so much for the opportunity once again. Lovely. Thank well you. done. Keegan Demela, he knows, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. He knows uh, what it's like to, to ride winners. He did say the uh, stable of Dean Kaname has been through a bit of a drought, but they're going to come back. They've bounced back with a winner here, and uh, no doubt it won't be long before they're in the winner's enclosure again. Keegan DeMello and uh, a young dad is Keegan, and uh, nice to touch on his family. But uh, Joyful Winters won and won well. Well done to uh, the breeders, the Mr. DJ Hampton, and uh, to Clinton, George, and uh, the whole team, the whole bunch of owners. Well done. No doubt you'll be thrilled. And Joyful Winter, the way she's won, no doubt there's another one in the tank. That's a wrap for racing today at Hollywood Beach Gravel. I'm going to just glance over to the board. 9528, it looks like. 9528. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, 9528. That's the result that you're going to need. It's been a glorious day here. Lovely winter's day from all of us at uh, Hollywood Beach Gravel. Get home safely. We'll see you on Saturday for more scintillating action.